Hello and welcome to my kitchen. I'm Judith. Today I'm doing a take on a Lebanese fish stew. Now the recipe I have is probably a corrupted version of the original dish and I'm going to corrupt it even further. I have a piece of chicken that really needs to come out of the freezer and get cooked. So we're going to use that instead of a piece of fish. I have some frozen prawns and scallops, some fresh squid, which we're going to slice up, tomatoes, red peppers, and spices. Now the spices for this are going to be Hungarian paprika. The actual spice normally used would be Aleppo peppers, but not available here. Hungarian paprika, the spicy version, is close. If you can't find that, try sweet paprika and a bit of cayenne. And some allspice, tahini, salt, and of course onion and garlic, which is all going to get cooked in olive oil. So let me start slicing things and then we have to cook our onions and red peppers. And we're well on our way. Right. To start with, get your pan warm. Don't want it really hot, just you know, warm. And I'm using a big pan because it's going to be a lot of food. A couple of tablespoons of olive oil. A second or two to warm up. And throw in some the finely sliced onion. That's one yellow onion, finely sliced. And one red bell pepper, finely chopped, and just give it a little stir around, and we want to cook these until they're softened, so give them, give them a minute or two. So we have these on a low heat, not medium low, and we're going to cook these for about 15 minutes to get them to start to brown and then we'll add some water so they soften. Now once we start getting a bit of color in there we're going to add the garlic four cloves of sliced garlic Give it, give, it, give it a we'll give it a few seconds to get aromatic and then because I'm going to use chicken rather than fish here I'm going to push everything aside and get my chicken in or just a one chicken breast that I've sliced that in there and let it, let it have a good sear turn it over now if it was fish you would not be adding the fish this early As I said, I'm corrupting this recipe severely. As I always said, if you have something in the fridge you need to cook, use it. If you don't have something that's in the recipe, but you have something else similar, use it. And now we want to add a little bit of water. A few minutes for things to soften up, and then we're going to start adding our spices. Now 
Right, and with your tomatoes, you want two tablespoons of tomato paste. I have a lovely tube of Italian version of tomato paste. Concentrated tomato paste. Mm -hmm. Let that stir around. We have uh, one lemon worth of lemon juice. Lemon from one lemon. Stir that around. going to add a little more water. Just, it is rather thick. And we're going to get a bit of a taste before putting anything else in here. So we're going to bring that back up to a simmer. And then we're going to add our squid and our prawns and our scallops. And then it will be dinner time soon. Alright, give it about 8 to 10 minutes at a good strong simmer. Mm. Tastes wonderful. We are now going to put in our squid. Squid tubes cut small. It's like calamari size. And we have some scallops and some prawns. I'm going to throw them all in. Give it a good stir. Now, once we get this cooked, we're going to check it again for seasoning because it may need some salt. All that seafood in there. Seafood loves salt. But let me have a little taste now. Yeah, I think it's going to need some. But we'll let it cook first. Oh, and the one thing I almost forgot. You want two tablespoons of tahini. in. That might have been a bit more than two tablespoons, but I like to hear it. Well, it's one of the reasons I wanted to make this recipe, because it has to heat it. Oh, and just look at the color change, and it's going to be so much Oh, it's getting so beautiful. Okay. I'm happy I didn't put too much salt in it. By the way, keep your tahini upside down. Same as um, organic peanut butter or freshly ground peanut butter. The oil will separate. If you keep it upside down, it helps it stay mixed. Huh. This is my version of uh, the recipe I have in a Lebanese cookbook um, for a Lebanese fish stew. I have corrupted it even further than that recipe is because that recipe isn't the original, but I added chicken just because I had chicken that had to be cooked. Mm. That's a 
quite nice. If you don't have a firm fish you can use, chicken actually works. It is lovely. Serve it with some lovely bread. I have some Turkish bread I get from a local bakery. Mmm. So, thank you for watching. Please, please, give it a like. I'm going to have one of these prawns. I just can't wait. And like I said, in all my recipes, things are substitutable. If you don't have what the recipe calls for, find something close to it. It will usually work. Subscribe. Click the bell icon. You'll get notified when I put up a new video. And actually, if you click on the Instagram link on my homepage, it will take you to my Instagram page, obviously. But that's where I put up the notifications of what's coming up next and what I might be planning on doing. So if you have suggestions, please make a comment. Let me know what you want to see. I am happy to try new recipes. Mm. This is so good, I can't stop eating. Thank you for watching. I will put up a new video soon. Please like, subscribe, share, do the things, and I'll see you again soon.